Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a self box in uh, Discord with Python. And uh, well, let's just start off with the layout of the files. So essentially, we're going to start with our main.py and our .env file. And then we're going to make a folder. I'm going to call it data. And inside of data, you have a messages.py and a state.json. If you go back to the .env, you need to set a token variable. So I'll leave this blank because I'm not going to release my token. And then we'll head back to the main.py and we'll get started on that. So you're going to want to import date time, OS, and JSON. You'll also want to import Discord. And human readable, uh, both of which. Um, so when you're doing pip install, uh, human readable is exactly the same. Date time's the same. For Discord, it would be discord.py itself. Essentially, I'll leave that there. Uh, and then we're gonna load in our dot env. Sorry. Sorry, I need to define that first. And then we can load our .env. Then we're going to set our bot to discord.client. And then we're going to define our state file. just like so and now we're going to when it all opens up we're going to open a state file uh, instead of R I'm going to do W and then we'll have it so you can write it now we're going to set up our loading state um, which effectively allow you to access the state file So this effectively um, opens up the state folder, and then if like, there isn't anything, then it returns, and if it is, then it loads everything in there. Then we're going to do the save state. There you go. That effectively saves all the information every time someone messages you. And now we are going to set our global messages. Don't worry if you get an error at the moment because we haven't coded our messages file. So here we're just defining all of our everything, sorry, our variables. Now these are the ones I've set for online idle and do not disturb. If you want to, you can do invisible, but I'm not going to be doing that in this tutorial. If you would like to do tutorial um, on invisible, you just got to basically copy and paste this and change it to invisible. We're now going to set a list of statuses. Uh, if you were to do um, invisible, again, you'd set, uh, you say like, Something like that.
Now we're going to do a correct as well. So this essentially, if Discord says, for example, do not disturb, like this. It essentially, I don't know why I did that twice. It essentially corrects it to this variable here. You do the same if you're doing offline, you do invisible is offline. Then we're going to get the state. So essentially, this is kind of just getting the state, which is our state.json, and kind of getting the statuses. We're going to set up our uh, like on ready function, which is when the bot comes online. So this f here, if you don't know, allows us to import a variable in the curly brackets. So this essentially gives you your login. And then we'll go on to the bot event. So we're going to define, make sure the message author is not ourselves. Don't want any of this. And then we'll do if is instant. And then message dot channel and then disk dm channel we'll then do state equals load state and author id where's that gone sorry author d equals to string message dot author dot id so it's kept as a string for the json file and after this we'll uh, take the current time which is displayed below and then work out the cooldown So 
and then we're going to define if the cooldown is there or not. And then print no cooldown. And then we'll leave that. Then we're gonna do if the um, like current time is less than the cooldown, um, we'll then send a message in our terminal. Now, say this is done in seconds here, so um, I'm going to do 24 hours. So this is your 60 seconds times by 60 to get hours and times by 24 to get your days. So that's one day. Uh, if you set like 300 seconds, then that will be five minutes, if my math's correct. So now we've set that, we can print a message. This essentially takes the date time. So this converts it. So say you get a message from someone and then they immediately message you again. This would say in 23 hours. And then we'll just return. Then we're going to grab our state for the author ID and set that to the current time. And then we're going to save the state. And we're going to print, you've got a EDM. Just like so. Then we're going to call the state. And here's where it goes into if the status is what not. So we'll now do if bot.status. Is we'll do online first. Then we'll do await message to channel send. We don't want this here. We would like messages to online. Just like so. And then just copy and paste this. Make sure to change it to a lift as well. Right, so essentially what this does is we'll set this to idle and do not disturb. And then this to do not disturb and idle. And then we'll leave this one as online. So essentially if it can't find what the status is, it will just send the online message. And then afterwards we do return. Sorry, that would be under the else. I need to add that in. Sorry, forgot about this underneath. 
all of here. Right, once you've done that, we'll create another event. And this one will be, um, sorry, actually, we don't need another event. Um, that's for a modification if you're adding reactions to the button, but I haven't finished experimenting with that, so I'm just losing thought a little bit. So now we can just run the bot. Just like so, right. So in our EMV, we've had the token set. It will run through there. Now we're gonna to go to the messages file and set our message. So essentially you just put, say online, equals this and that means then you can write over multiple lines and it will keep that as the message so i might say hello i'm currently online if you need anything for you to ask and then for idle just go what this ai is saying that's a simple message you could have I and mean, you could have like for example your socials or whatever listed as well and that is essentially it you can then go ahead and run this through the main.py and your Discord account will be online and your messages will be sent whenever someone sends you a direct message. Um, as of right now, self bots are against Discord's terms of service, so I don't take any responsibility if your account has anything done to it by Discord for moderation terms. Um, anyone has any questions, please leave a comment or you can contact me on Discord. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.